Some of my content has mention of extreme violence, sexual assault, and or other triggering content. Discretion is advised. Hello, um, I got a comment from one of my viewers and she was like, hey, there's a update in the Cassidy Rainwater case. And I went, huh? Because Google did not alert me. I had no idea. This was like, it's pretty new. It's ha happened like yesterday or the day before. But guys, it's getting insane. So I wanted to do a quick update and also talk about the case in general. So buckle up. This one's sad. This one's heavy. This one's horrible and horrifying. So yeah. So I wanted to shout out the viewer that told me about this, Danielle Sevik. Sevik? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name, but thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me. Like I said before, my viewers, people in the comments tell me stuff before I even find it out sometime. And thank you, thank you, thank you, so that I can update on this case and talk to you guys more about it. Okay, so some background. Um, Cassidy Rainwater was 33 and she went missing in August. Um, she is from the Kansas City, Missouri, Missouri area. Um, it was kind of unclear where exactly she was staying at the time, but somehow she ended up crossing paths with these two horrific monsters, um, James Phelps and Timothy Norton. Um, she had gone missing, um, and there was reports online on the dark web that she was being held in a cage on their property and we really didn't have a lot of facts after that we have facts now but let me tell you the rest of what happened so we didn't know what was going on um and then shortly after these men were arrested the house that cassidy was being held in and all of this went up in flames um, the bomb squad was called in, there was trip wires, basically, and the bomb squad had to come in and fix all of that, and the house completely burnt down. Now, whew, fast forward, we had no information since September-ish. Um, these men were booked on kidnapping charges, and... There wasn't a lot of facts in the case. The cops came out and said, stop talking about rumors. You don't know anything, like stop. And this blog post shortly after this happened, put out a article that were rumors about what was happening to Cassidy Rainwater. And I reported on that article. I reported on the rumors that I had heard from Reddit and from various unsighted sources to say. Um, I also reported on the facts, but I also reported on these rumors that were happening. The rumors were dark and disturbing. I mean, on top of the fact that she was being held in a cage naked on these guys' property, that's horrific. Kidnapping her, holding her, and whatever was done to her in between time was horrific. The rumors stated that there could be cannibalism in this case. There could have been meat, human meat, sold on the dark web in this case. And that there was a lot that they were eating the meat, all of that. Okay, so let's get to the update. Now, it is November 19th-ish right now as I am filming. I am scrambling to try to get this update out for you guys because I know this is one that you guys have been waiting for and I've been waiting for. Um, so let's get to the updates and what has happened recently. Now, the updates are horrible. I feel so bad for Cassidy's family because this is not a good way to remember your loved one. So hopefully they remember her before this happened. Now, these two men um, 
They were booked on kidnapping charges. <sighs> they basically indicted them for murder um, in the last couple of days. Um, I think 11, like November 17th or 18th. I think 17th, because this was Wednesday and it's Friday. Um, what they said in that hearing uh, was horrible. So, in the court's documents from Wednesday, they showed pictures of Cassidy dismembered um, and semi-naked body strapped to a device. This device was used to basically Im like embowel, take out stuff from a deer. And Cassidy was in this device, on this device, I'm not sure. And they allegedly disemboweled her and dismembered her. And they found meat in a freezer that was labeled 724. This later matched DNA to Cassidy Rainwater. So we know that that meat was Cassidy. The DNA matched. This is what we've been waiting for in this case is the big news that we can get these guys on murder. Um, I think they will also get a slew of, of other charges, of course. But now we know they have the DNA. We know that Cassie passed, Cassidy passed and horrible, horrible things happened to her after. Um, whew, let's take a breath. Um, so the disembowelment and the dismemberment, um, they were taking apart humans and eating them at the least. They could have been selling human meat on the dark web as well. Now these guys were due in court, but I didn't know that it was coming up this fast. Um, but Mr. Norton, I hate calling him even Mr. Like, oh, disgusting guy, Norton, um, reportedly pled not guilty, but he admitted that he had strangled Cassidy. So I don't know what he's trying to do there, but yeah, so he admitted that he strangled her. So as of right now, Norton and Phelps are only being charged with stuff related to Cassidy Rainwater. I know there was a lot of rumors about how these guys could be connected to a lot more. I think that that's probably true. These men are horrible um, men, but they knew what they were doing to get away with it. Um, they knew what they were doing to dismember someone. I don't think this was their first time, but I could be wrong. But authorities are saying that basically this, there's still ongoing investigation, but everything with Cassidy is the only victim that they're releasing right now. I know that people were talking that it could be connected to the Springfield Three, um, and we have no news on that, and it, the investigation is probably going to go for a long time. So, my thoughts on this, I will end with my thoughts, and I have followed this case from the get-go. Um, my first Cassidy Rainwater case was my first piece of big, local, happening now news, and... I feel like we kind of knew that Cassidy had been gone, but this is horrendous. The things that Cassidy had to see and deal with the moments before her death are horrible and after her death are horrible. And I was hoping for a better result. I was hoping for something better than this. And I am very, very saddened by this. I, hearing 
all the things she had to go through. I'm so glad these men are hopefully going to get what they deserve in the court system. Um, and I will keep an eye on this. I have posted a couple updates, so if you haven't watched the first Cassidy Rainwater case, the second update case, the police report, um, and now this one, please go and educate yourself about Cassidy Rainwater. She is such a victim, and it's just terrible what happened to her. So... I will be seeing you guys next time. Please, please give me updates in the comments because I missed this one and I don't know how, but I did. So please keep posting and I will keep updating. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video or any of my other content, Please click the subscribe button and the bell and the like button um, to help me with my content and my channel as it grows. Also follow me on social media platforms. Right now my biggest um, form of communication outside of YouTube is TikTok. So please add me on there and make some funny true crime content on there. So thank you guys for watching. Love you.